Uh, morning, uh, Board of Supervisors. I believe uh, my comrades and the families, uh, they're speaking the same language in the sense of there should be no reason and no way that people that are suffering from mental health episodes should die by the hands of law enforcement. And in these moments, we continue to fail. It's embarrassing, and at the same particular time, there's no end to it. The simple fact that none of these families have had any type of um, closure, there's been no accountability, it almost victimizes a victim all over again. So are we saying, are we saying that law enforcement was in their right to kill these people in their moment of mental health? Are we saying that this is the kind of presence that we want to show in our community in Sacramento County that when there's a mental health episode, black and brown, law enforcement will come and then they will assassinate innocent people because we have this moment. This is a day of reckoning to see that the pain of these families. You're just agitated for a, a moment this Tuesday morning. They're agitated for the rest of their life. Because their loved one, their hero, the particular person that they look to be their father figure has died by the hands of law enforcement. And unfortunately, there's no resolve because it doesn't seem like we're not connecting the dots and no one on this board is doing enough to make sure the families understand what is actually going on. That's why they come here frustrated. That's why they come here angry because they have not heard enough answers, not enough solutions. And us as a community, we've given solutions and our solutions have not been heard. Utilize the budget and put it back into the community so we can help police ourselves. Thank you for your comments. Thank you. Thank you, Jerry.